We are going to be discussing day two material from section 2.4. Our goal is to identify equations that are identities or have no solution. So on your note sheet, you can see in the top left corner, there is a box with five steps for solving equations. The first step is we're going to use the distributive property to remove any grouping symbols which means parentheses most of the time. We're going to use properties of equality to clear decimals and fractions, and we did that in the past couple sections. Step two, we're going to combine like terms on each side of the equation. Step three, we're going to use properties of equality to get the variable terms on one side of the equation and the constants on the other. Step four, we're also going to use the properties of equality to solve for the variable, which means get the variable by itself on one side. And step five, we're going to check our solution in the original equation. And we've done that before. We just plug the number in for the variable and make sure it works. So those are the five steps. Here is example three. We have two times the quantity five x minus one equals three times the quantity x plus 11. As you can see, we're going to need to use the distributive property. So share the two. And then we're also sharing the three on the other side. And we're multiplying. Two times five x is 10 x. Two times negative one is negative two. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 11 is 33. There are like terms on either side of the equation. The 10x and the 3x can combine, so we're going to subtract 3x to the other side. Now, this is not the only option. You could have subtracted the 10x to the other side, but it would create a negative number in front, and I think most of us don't want that. So on the right side, the 3x's cancel. Now we have 7x minus 2 equals 33. We're at a two-step equation. We're going to get rid of that negative 2 by adding 2, plus 2, plus 2. So we have 7x equals 35, one step equation now. How do we get the x by itself? We divide by 7. And we get x equals 5. So there is our solution. And remember, the checking process is we just take the 5 and we plug it in for the x in the beginning on both sides. Okay, a couple vocab terms. Identity is an equation that is true for every possible value of the variable. For every possible value of the variable. So an example of this would be x plus 1 equals x plus 1. It's the same thing on both sides. And an identity works when you can plug in any number for the variable and it proves true. So an example, if I use that equation that I just gave you, we could plug in 2, and that's 3 equals 3. That's a true statement. So that is an identity. Now the opposite of an identity is an equation that has no solution. And this happens when there is no value of the variable that makes the equation true. So nothing that you plug in will work. And here's an example, x plus 1 equals x plus 2. If we were to plug in any number for the x on both sides, we would get a false statement. So here, I'll plug in 2 again. 2 plus 1 equals 2 plus 2, question mark. 3 equals 4. That is not true. So you can write here, false statement. So there is no solution. So if you get a true statement, it's identity. If you get a false statement, it's no solution. And if you get a true statement, that means that any number will work. So that means infinitely many solutions.
You should write that down. So just a little recap. True statement points to identity, and that means there are infinitely many solutions. That means every number works. And the opposite of that would be no solution, and that happens when you get a false statement. So no number works. So let's check it out in example four. In part A, we have 10x plus 12 equals 2 times the quantity 5x plus 6. We're going to distribute the 2 and multiply. So we get 10x plus 12. And the other side, you just bring down. And what do you think about that? It's the same thing on both sides. That is always true. Any number that you plug in will work. Always true. That means this is an identity, and when you get an identity, there are infinitely many solutions. That means every number works when you plug it in. And in part B, we have 9m minus 4 equals negative 3m plus 5 plus 12m. On the right side, I see a pair of like terms, so let's combine them. We have a negative 3m and a 12m. When we combine those, we're doing 12 minus 3, and that's 9. 9m. Bring down the 5, and on the left side of the equals, just bring everything down to the next line. Okay, I see like terms on both sides. So in order to get rid of the 9m, we're going to subtract 9m from both sides because it's positive originally. Now they cross out. Oh look, the variables are gone. Now we have negative 4 equals positive 5. Is that a true statement? No, it's not. It's a false statement. So you can write false. And when you get a false statement, the answer is no solution. So we're going to write because negative 4 does not equal positive 5, the original equation has no solution. That means no number works when you plug it in for the variable. Okay, this lesson is done. You can wait for the lesson check and delete do it together during class or you can try it on your own.